Okay, and we're back with more Sonic Unleashed. I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome. Today we'll be going and seeing the sights and the wonderful buildings in Empire City, but sadly we're seeing them at night time, which means more Werehog stages for us, which is not good. But I guess it's not all bad. We can collect some daytime medals that way we don't have to worry about them later. Because uh, when you get to level 6 of the medals uh, levels, I believe that's it. And you have pretty much got enough medals to unlock every stage. So we're getting there. We're, we're getting there slowly but surely. But of course, doing things slowly in a Sonic game is very unheard of. Isn't it, Werehog? Isn't it? Right, Skyscraper Scamper, let's go! So, um, I must say that this level has always, always got to me in ways that no level has ever got to me before. Purely because this level is so full of bullshit and, ah, uh, downright utter bad design. Well, you know what I mean, the game in a way is a bad design, but, you know, compared to the other night stages, this is just taking the cake. Alright, I defeated everyone. Now let's have a quick look around, see if there's anyone else. No? I can't look behind me though, because that's uh, that would mean there was a good camera in this game. What the crap? What are you expecting? See, uh, now that I've played it, I feel myself wanting to uh, bring up Sonic Colors a lot. But that's good level design right there. Sonic Colors literally never needs you to change the camera angle. You always know what's going on. But you'd think in a game like this, changing the camera would be necessary to see if there are enemies nearby, or if there are secrets nearby. Although maybe the bad camera is a way of being able to hide the secrets. It's like, haha, you can't see what's over there, so there could be a secret, but no, we're not allowing you to see it. So you better go over there. Oh, it's a bottomless pit. Don't you feel silly for thinking otherwise. Ah, 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 you dumb. Now I must admit, due to my future failures of doing this, body slamming enemies on, uh, on the top of a roof near a edge is not very wise. Plus, I still suck at quick time events. Just wanted to prove that to you. Um, I accidentally pressed X, I think it was. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, still sucking at them uh, quick time events. So that's usually why you don't see me do them. Uh, instead, I beat the enemy to, the, to their death. All right, now this is a good example of why I hate this stage. You see this? This is okay. This is just a normal platform you can walk on and if you fall off, you grab onto the side. Well, later, well, you'll see, but uh, this is just a pre-warning. You're not gonna wanna fall off these poles later on in this stage. I suppose you could say it's this level when the night stages really start getting heavy into the platforming. I mean, the ice stage was pretty heavy in its platforming, but now we're just going a little bit too far. The Werehog is not good at platforming, although I suppose there wouldn't be much more reason for the Werehog if it wasn't for the fighting and platforming sections and the fucking stupid, ridiculous, stretchy arms. But. Uh, just there is a limit to how much bad platforming one guy can take in a Sonic game. <laughs> it's funny. The beginning of this Let's Play was fun and I enjoyed it, but now I'll be quite honest. In a lot of these stages you're going to hear me talk about how crap the stage design is and how I wish I was dying rather than playing this game. Uh, it gets bad from this point on. I'll tell you now, even the day stages find it hard to actually please me when it comes to good level design and playability and fun. Some of these stages just want to dick you over and kill you a lot. They go for a difficulty that's just not fair, really. But I guess everyone's here to listen to me complain, question mark? I don't know. I guess you're not. Because uh, I'm not usually the complaining type. But I would definitely say that this stage design can go suck a, a very, 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 very big penis. So, yeah. But for instance, take this floating uh, platform here, for example. I just barely made that. And that's because there's no real essence of distance. Later... I remember parts in this stage that are like that, or parts in other stages, like for example in the ice stage, when I uh, did that 
down these slides. I completely missed one of the platforms because there's no sense of depth. I didn't know how far away I had to jump or how closely to the edge I had to jump to get onto that platform. It's awkward. Okay, so there's a door there. I can hear an electrical field to the right of us. Anything over here? Nope, just more rage in a can. And beeping. Place your bets! Okay, I guess nothing. No? No? Alright, fine. So, I wonder why that beep. I wonder what it was. See here, these platforms... You can't really tell how far away they are. I suppose you can. Just by judging how fast you walk and how far you jump and such, but... <coughs> in general, no. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention uh, that the fighting sections get pretty ridiculous later on in game. I mean, they happen all the time. There will be not a moment when I'm not fighting something, and then as soon as I kill it, another wave of enemies spawn. Let's actually try doing it right. Hey, we actually got a critical attack. Awesome. Like the first one in I don't know how many videos. I mean, the critical attacks aren't really necessary unless you want to go for big points anyway, but if you just play the level normally and just don't die, you're more than likely to get an S rank anyway. It really isn't all that difficult to get an S rank on the uh, night stages, purely because if you just kill everything, uh, get a whole bunch of rings, and just don't die, then you should be okay. Ooh, Sun Medal. You should be okay uh, to get in that S. Now, you remember those platforms, these line platforms I was telling you about that I thought were gay as shit? Well, they just got gayer. Uh, as you can, well, you might be able to see, there are spikes on them now. If you fall off them, you cannot grab onto them, which instantly makes you fall off. You're going to have to be slow, or else you're going to die, especially when the camera decides to change it up and move you. It's really annoying, and you're going to die quite a few times. I know this because I die quite a few times. And you can be slow and careful, but I didn't really want to be too slow and too careful on this section since I'm recording it. I didn't want to take forever on these one parts. So, you know, even if I die, it's something. Oh yeah, also, did I mention that there's ones that can collapse as well? Oh man, this game just wants to fuck me off in so many ways. Alright, let's continue going on, because there is a checkpoint here that's a little bit out of the way, but worth getting. And also a Sun Medal, and lots of barrels to co to smash to collect your Unleash energy. This one's always a bitch. Sometimes a camera does help you, but other times I've just found the camera likes to go, Hey, you should go down there, but wait, you're controlling the camera and pressing up, which means you're following the camera, which means you're about to die. Have fun dying, bye! See? If I'd have continued pressing left, I would have died. So, uh, don't do that. Alright. Now, that was an extra life. And with good reason. Remember when I was saying about depth, like, field of depth here? That looks not very far away. It looks maybe above me. Uh, no, apparently not. Apparently I was nowhere near that at all. One moment. Okay, we made it this time. Awesome. And there's another checkpoint. It's almost like they expected you to die on that section because there's a checkpoint, then there's an extra life, then there's another checkpoint straight after it. What, what resorts you to putting a level design like this? It's like, we want the characters to die here, so we're going to give them a chance to do a trial and error moment. That makes sense, right? Right, totally. Oh look, and another fighting section. Like we need more of these in our in our Sonic games. Yeah. Totally need more of these fighting sections. I would be completely lost. I suppose I could always just ignore them and then go for the switch, but screw it. It's experience, and experience makes my life in these stages a lot easier. Because I can get new moves and new strength and new health and whatever. So I guess it's not all bad. Okay, so that's everyone down. I wonder how many experience bars I have. Uh, three. Now. And a moon medal. Awesome. So the door has opened. I guess we should uh, turn off that barrier over there. 
Lovely bear! With my superhuman strength. No, super hedgehog strength. Oh, yay! More slight boardwalk pathway things with spikes on them. This is going to be a returning gimmick. I can see it already. Oh, joy! Okay, just destroy the uh, just destroy the furniture up here on the roof. Of course, no one's ever really gonna, you know, press charges or anything. I can destroy these, but I can't destroy a candy machine or a vending machine. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, hey, uh, hell, awesome. All right, now let's continue to wrestle these guys because you know Sonic's all about wrestling, isn't he, guys? Yep, totally. Sure, you can. Oh, I've already made that joke. Can't make it again. That would be that'd be overusing a joke. Oh God, heaven forbid I ever do that. Hey, hey. Yay, more experience. Aren't you dead? Why are you? Okay, there we go. So, jeez, just wouldn't die. What's behind here? It is a sun medal, and you guys. You guys, give me my sun medal! Ah! Let me grab you so I can take my sun medal! Ah, ja, 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 ja. ah, I got my sun medal! I should just ignore you guys, but you give me experience, so it's worth doing. Ah, ja, 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 ja. Slow motion, ah, ja, ja, ja. And now you die. Mahaha! Five bars of experience now. It's a good thing that experience doesn't take very much to go up so I can level up real easy let's just activate our swing pole so we don't fall off and die though right now I couldn't care less about that so much because uh, for going for the good ranks at this point point in the game uh, no just no not gonna do that anymore I don't think if I can get a high rank I'll try but I don't care so much I you know wanted to say hey this game is a complete bullshit from the start but now, no, it, it can suck, it can suck dicks, it can suck many, many dicks, like so many, this guy can suck so many dicks, you would not believe how many lives I've lost to this dude, you have to be careful when fighting him and actually dodge that wave, because if you're like anything like me and want to get up as soon as possible when you get uh, knocked down by it, you're going to get hit twice, if he jumps and knocks you back like that and then the wave gets you as you're on the way up, it knocks you off the building every time causing you to lose a life of course that means you have to do more sections of fighting beforehand more platforming and then you have to fight this dude again Ugh. it's so annoying so take him out as quickly as possible I'm not gonna bother try using the quick time events because I just want to make sure I get him rather than just fail at it somehow and yay experience now that almost seems like it would be a good place to end the level but no this level is actually pretty goddamn long and uh, yeah it's it's long it's gonna take a little while I think that's roughly the halfway mark maybe I think that's about halfway and I'm just destroying everything to get my uh, unleash back because Having the Unleashed in reserve is always good, and that was a item to power up my strength, which I wish I knew was there beforehand, because that would have come in really handy. Alright, let's pick up the rock and put it into our slot. Camera, camera being a bitch. Just proving how annoying the camera is by shaking it about. Alright! And with this marks the end of part one. I'll be right back with more Sonic Unleashed Night Stage fun and enjoyment and pain.